Now, in 1960, Elizabeth Ann Jenner was a hairdresser in Stevenage. She was 19 years old, she was a sprinter, and she loved to win. Of course, 1960 was an Olympic year, and Elizabeth was selected for the Great Britain team. These days, she's more likely to cover 100 metres on the golf course as she enjoys retirement. With just 10 days to go until Rio, our sports reporter Tom Williams has been to meet her to capture her memories of the Rome Games. This is like a glamorous photo shoot. Yeah, I was a pin-up for HMS Camperdown. Oh, another, right. <laughs> uh, naval, uh, the naval ships, a couple of ships, and they... They used to write to me and I... In 1960, Elizabeth Ann Jenner was known as the Queen of the Tracks, an international sprinter who certainly caught the eye, a 200 and 400 metres specialist, but in Rome picked for the 100 metres. Olympians now, of course, are so high profile, aren't they? Yes. What was it like back then? Oh, well, it, not as high profile as it is now, of course. We were all all friends and we all got on very well together and it was just exciting and I just liked winning and this was the reason I did athletics because I like to win. Could you earn fame and fortune as an athlete back then? No, no you were an amateur so my dad oh it must have cost him a fortune driving me all over <laughs> the country. <laughs> <laughs> well of course when I advertised Ovaltine I got I was paid for that and I was on television advertising but once you were paid for work, that was it. You couldn't go back to athletics. No mention of drugs or anything like that. So, all very healthy. Anne worked as a hairdresser in Stevenage, celebrating her 19th birthday at the Olympics. She was one of the youngest members of the British team. She got married soon after, becoming Anne Ewer. Rome now, a distant memory. So when did you last watch the race? I haven't. You're kidding? No, I haven't. Well, since 1960? No, no. No, I've never thought it. Well, I didn't realise they'd taken any film of the race anyway, so, no, I've never seen Russia, it. Jenner of Great Britain, Holmes, Panama and Hendricks of Germany. I've gone on goose been forced. <laughs> and there it goes, it's Kina. It's Kina going very strongly, it's Kina of Russia, and the American girl going well too, and, and so is Hendricks coming up on the outside. But is it Kina and Hendricks? The Kina and Hendricks oh, and that oh, Canadian girl. God. And there they are, the Kina first. Hendricks of Germany second, and Richter of Poland was oh. third, and the British girl was run right out of it. Oh, what a shame. In her 70s now, Anne remains as active as ever. A past captain at Swaffham Golf Club in Norfolk, she plays several times a week, as happy now as she was 56 years ago. It was a lovely time in my life. Just being so proud that I've represented my country, it involved such a lot as well. I worked really, really hard. I trained five days a week and competed on the sixth day. But when you're a teenager, it keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> it was wonderful. Anne didn't win a medal in Rome. Her prize, golden memories that have lasted a lifetime. Tom Williams, BBC Look East. That was a fantastic moment, wasn't I'm it? Absolutely she, she hadn't <laughs> seen the, the race ever. But I love that they didn't even name the, the British girl and the, and, yeah, that's and, the, right. and the American girl at the commentator goal. <laughs> uh, we've got more Olympic memories tomorrow. Swimmer David Lowe recalls his medal winning performance in Moscow in 1980.